Hello, and thank you for joining our Introduction to Design Thinking webinar series. My name is Keith Keating, and I'm a Design Thinking Practitioner with GP Strategies. In this eight-part webinar series, we will be sharing with you the theory of design thinking from a high-level overview through each of the five phases and finishing with suggestions for ways to continue learning on your journey to becoming a design thinking practitioner. In this session, I will be sharing with you an overview of the final phase in the design thinking methodology test. But before we begin with the test phase, as a quick reminder, design thinking is comprised of five phases, empathy, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Empathy, where we learn about our audience, we understand their challenges. We interview them to really uncover what the problem is that they're having, that they may not know that they're having, that we can try and help them solve. We take all that information, we synthesize it down, and we define problem statements based on what we've learned in our empathy research. We turn those problem statements into how might we questions. We then move into the ideation phase where we're looking to brainstorm as many ideas as we can to solve for those how might we questions. We then narrow the scope down and the ideas that we've had. We plot them out in the prioritization matrix. We've identified our stars, our risk reward, sweet spot, and then we move that into the prototype phase where we build quick representations of one or more of those ideas. Once we have our prototypes, we then move into the test where we test out our ideas and we gain user feedback. In the test phase, we of course test out ideas and gain user feedback. So in the test phase, we are looking to test as if we're wrong in the solution that we're trying to provide. So when you prototype, you prototype as if you know your idea is right, but you test as if you know your idea is wrong so that you can get that user feedback to make sure that this really does solve the problem they're having. So in the test phase, you want to create authentic experiences for your users to test your prototypes. Essentially, it's UX design. You want to then refine your prototypes and your solutions based on what you've learned in the test phase. And then you're also going to test again and refine your point of view on your user because you may learn more information about them during the test phase. A couple of best practices with the test phase. First of all, you let your user experience the prototype on their own. Do not coach them through it. Do not explain to them how to actually use it. If they need to have an explanation on how to use it, it means that the design may not be as intuitive as you think, and you may need to go back to the drawing board and help redesign it. Have the users talk through their experience while they're testing it so that you can hear what they're thinking, so you understand what they're experiencing as they're actually going through it. Your job is to actively observe everything that's happening during that testing phase. Don't immediately correct the user. If they're using it wrong or they're hitting the wrong button or they're doing something wrong, that is how they're intuitively understanding how to use your product. Watch, observe, take notes, but don't correct them. Watch how they use or misuse or don't use at all your prototype. I've created prototypes before where the customers don't even want to use it because it doesn't fit in either with their culture, it doesn't work for them, they're not interested in downloading it, they don't want to have a new login. So it's important to observe the whole experience, how they use it, misuse it, or don't use it at all. And make sure to follow up with questions about their experience. What other ideas do they have? What worked well for them? What didn't work well for them? What would they change? Did they come up with any new use cases while using the prototype? Follow up with questions. So a tool that you can consider using during your testing phase is what we call a capture matrix, where again, it's broken up into four quadrants and you're capturing notable observations. You're capturing their criticism you're capturing their questions that they've had while using it and their ideas, or maybe even your new ideas. While I've been experiencing test phases before, watching a user use the prototype has actually spawned new ideas on how we could evolve that prototype to meet their needs or maybe even solve other business problems that we may have uncovered. So make sure that you're capturing all of that information during the testing phase.
This concludes our session on the test phase of design thinking. Make sure to check out our next session on the final concepts and ideas of applying design thinking. So again, thank you for joining us and we look forward to sharing more ideas and best practices with you. And make sure to check out and use the contact form to reach out to us on the Design Thinking website or simply add me on LinkedIn to continue the design thinking conversation. Thank you for joining.